What's up, Trekkies? Hi, so there it's not, I mean, Xbox One, PS4, you've got news, see we had like, boom, a ship sale, all tier 5 ships on all platforms, 30% off, but that was only yesterday, so, yeah, um, again, also yesterday, no, the 10th, wow, that was a change, 23rd to the 10th, wow, there's not much news that I could see. But anyways, you guys have week two of the Nexus, Beyond the Nexus, uh, Trilithium Tricobalt Torpedo Launcher, pretty cool. Um, that allows you for your two-piece, which grants firing cycle haste for energy weapons and flight speed increase. Pretty decent. I don't know anyone. I haven't technically used the Trilithium-based weapon set with um, all that stuff. Um, I don't really fly a cruiser. I have a cruiser I like to fly, but I might put it on there. So, since that's all the news I can find, whether it be Xbox, PC, again, I'm searching. There's nothing. I figured there wasn't going to be anything. Everything kind of exploded. Um, I, keep <laughs> I keep accidentally putting dilithium and stuff. So we're just going to do a gameplay video, because I got a comment for last week's video. You should do gameplay videos. I'm like, well, I've done them before, but whatever. So I'm going to get everything going here. And I'm going to do a space cube. I'm going to do Draenor Gauntlet, midi, medium, because my skill level, now this is being done with my Vesta, tier six Vesta, tier five Vesta consoles, tier six Vesta consoles, and the, and as you guys can see, the console universal, the, this set, the quantum phase set. I'm touching my screen like you guys can see my finger. Um, and I'm just gonna be using my elite Delta Flyers. I've got other ones, like Elite Obelisk Swarmers, and I've got Elite Tholian Widow Fighters, just in case. Um, where are my Scorpion Fighters? Man, my inventory's full. Oh, there's my Scorpion Fighters. Why are you guys... Why are you... My inventory is a mess! Q instance cancel. Those there. <laughs> My inventory is a mess. Are you phased Polaron at least? No, you're just a Polaron cannon. Adios, motherfucker. I have put in a lot of work today on the field. For those of you who don't know, I play semi-pro football and I train throughout the year. So I've done legs and field work today and I'm, yeah, I'm loopy. All right. So remember, this is tier six Vesta, the science version, science affinity, science vessel. I don't, time, so I don't care, Jordy. As you can see, it's got like five consoles on science, three engineering, three tactical. I'm using the temporal defense initiative set because that's awesome. Obviously the quantum phase set, the quantum phase torpedo, the ox dual heavy phaser cannon, and then I also have the omnidirectional phaser array because I have a bunch of phaser damage as is. The Kratom Torpedo Launcher, which I'm only using three of these because I don't really need the focusing array. But I got the 360 weapon, which is the one next to it, the Torpedo Launcher, and then the chronomet this chronometric tactical thing because it's, again, it's bonus Polaron damage. I like the exotic particle damage. That's what I like using it for. What do I got? I should probably deploy fighters. What do we got? Skinny ship. Borg! They're on an interceptor. Mm. Activate satellites.
You can tell I've done this enough. I know how long it takes to activate the satellites. You guys need to be on intercept for heavy plasma torpedoes. I wonder if I'm going to have anybody come and help me. Doctor, doctor. I'm loopy. I'll get out right now. What do we got? 11 seconds. That's fun. Closer. They're Borg, I can, you know, they're fine. Each of these requires a slightly different tactic. The great thing about this one is the Borg ships actually blow up so hardcore that they can take out a lot of the spheres. Shields! Shields! Oh, 
on here. Boom, 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 boom. Things are dying so fast. That's why I'm not using my sensor scan or sensor analysis. I'm using sensor scan. Things stay alive quite long enough. Need to be close enough. The problem is, board cube, like I said, blow up really big, so I don't get close. Upgrade satellite. Satellite upgrades are now available. Acknowledged. The time when I really wanted to teleport, and I actually did. So, I'll show you guys at the end what my shift 3 is and why I misplace what I do. Oh, are you actually upgrading it? Are you a tactical officer? Uh, you're a science officer, so it didn't really matter. In case you guys haven't looked, the science officer upgrade... Satellite upgrades are not um, you give a tachyon beam and a 15 kilometer, both of them have a, are 15 kilometer range. Uh, tactical, probably better to do with like the Borg um, or barrier field is uh, photon torpedo sprays. Especially with these, always take out the dreadnought as best as you can. Just constantly take it out. Whatever you can do. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't want continuity this early. That's it, fine. We're just gonna keep moving here. Don't loot shit, folks. This is not gonna be monetizable by all audiences. I get really... You're really combative. I'm playing. Come on, can I drain shields off somebody? Somebody close to me? Of course not. Oh, I got a little bit off someone. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go! No, 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 no. Gotcha! person that came to help is no longer helping me anymore. It's nice that, you know, they're holding them in place, but... No, no, tactical cube first. Bathe in radiation. Damn it. When I'm hitting the Windows key. No, do not stop draining my shields. Repair the satellite. Yes.
I'm stuck again. The thing I keep trying to hit shift 3 for is that one thing at the chordometric set that I like. Um, again, it is bonus Polaron damage. And it uses the Krenim Torpedo, which is my aft torpedo, so I don't use it too terribly well. Too much. You know what? Just assault everything. I don't care, guys. You don't need to intercept anything. Come on. What do we got? Stop. Nope. The window's queuing again. Tactical cube. Just keep looting. Loot, 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 when you're in sector space, in case you didn't know, things don't all wait that your, like, space skills don't take into effect. Only driver coil. Is that a thing still? I'm old. So anyways, the reason why is because I wanted to show you the tool tip. See, it's shift three, it's right here. It's a chronomatic energy converter, and what it does is it's plus 30.1 exotic damage for 15 sec, 30% exotic damage, and 26% energy weapon damage. Now, is this modified by... Okay, the energy weapon stuff is modified by aux power. That was... <clears throat> that's alt six is emergency power to aux two. So, <laughs> that's fun. So, it helps, you know, for 15 seconds on a two minute cooldown. That's the little thing. If you ever watch another, yeah. So, it's my bad that I put it right next to Trajector Jump. The problem is I don't want it right next to Quantum Focus Shield Bubble. <laughs> it's stupid. It makes weapons go offline and I'm immune to all damage for one second. And then it applies a shield that it's a 96.5 shield resistance. Immunity to all damage for one second really helps. And I keep forgetting I have that ability, but that's what you get for Tier 5 Vesta Console Set 3. Um, or is that set two? Let us take a look. That's it. I'll take care of that later. That's that. That's... Where are you? <laughs> you guys. More details. Yeah, it's set three. The problem is I don't like... I don't necessarily need that. However, I like all three consoles. So, it's a... It's the thing I keep on my bar in case I need to use it, but yeah. But yeah, the Chronoton infused slipstream is you get two piece of these sets and you get, um, it just, you go, you have a turn rate beyond all belief. Like the turn rate and it la and your quantum slipstream last forever. It says 60 max, so yeah. Last for a whole minute. And I can go into further detail in a future video about this as to, you know, what all of these consoles do. And so, I'm just gonna go over them in case you wanna pause and read them. 
Um, do take into account that a lot of this stuff are my duty officers and yeah. Specifically if you look, maybe not that one. That's just a terrifying tool tip to begin with. <laughs> I, I ain't joking, look at this tool tip. <laughs> I'm hiding my face because it is like, maybe you guys should just see here. This is what I was like, like, like if you ever see in other videos, this is, well here. Yeah. It hits five times and then has the first five pulses. Um, as it says, to target 1400 radiation damage every one second that it's inside that cone. And it has a minus 15 damage resistance rating, minus 35% flight speed, and minus 35% flight turn rate for every for 1.2 seconds, for 1.2 seconds, I don't know, it's like doubled. Two target applies one debilitating radiation counter for five seconds. On the sixth pulse, two target 10,500 or 400, 10,800, because I have aux maxed all the time. Shield penetration, plus 20% damage per stack of debilitating radiation, and then on top of that, those three things beneath it for the next 10 seconds. If I got targets in a gravity well inside that radiation pulse thing, they dead. They dead. So bad. Because they're getting hit 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500, 1500 20,000. And it's radiation damage, so... I love the Vestas so much. And on top of this, on top of this, if I, by clicking this ability, I have a 25% chance to grant me plus 40 ox power. All of, oh my god. If you guys ever have any questions about how to science, I got you how to science. Uh, people are like, I don't know how to science very well, it seems confusing. It is, but I'll clarify it for you. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, Christ, my tachyon beam is pretty terrifying. I mean... I mean, it's 1,800 sh all shields per pulse, 10 pulses. On top of that, you have electrical damage. And that it's it's so bad. I'm so... I'm cheap. But anyways, I will chat with you guys next week. Uh, hopefully we'll have some news. Or I'll talk science if you really want me to, because... Oh, this is... Anyways. Probability manipulation. Anyways, bye.